What's poppin', everybody? It's your boy here, you know, Wolf of Crypto here, man. Another episode today for the Crypto Millionaire Journey. The month has ended. June has came and gone. And gotta say, this month has been uh, interesting the least to say for the market trying to get a gauge of where are we going from here uh keeping my fingers crossed that july brings some more movement in the market right now it's just been kind of a flat line man uh, if you look at the i mean i'm just specifically talking about bitcoin i'm actually gonna later on in the show gonna talk about some other coins that i personally like to trade and that i would keep my eye out on as we or halfway through the year. Um, but let's get back to Bitcoin, man. And uh, I would like to say, I think we had high, some high hopes maybe coming into the month. You know, as we left May, we kind of had some momentum, man. Uh, ended May at the 9,500 mark or so. And then we kind of seen a crazy jump. First day of June. Um, going into that second day where we climaxed at the 10,000, about 130 mark. Um, and ever since then, man, ever since the beginning of the month of June, it's just been bouncing back and forth between the high, what, 9,900 range mark and then as low as... 89 8800 we've seen some lows as that as low as that and it's kind of interesting man it just seems like we don't really but as far as the price goes man it's just it's very interesting because it just seems like it just goes like it's like a tear tire is going up to about 95 97 go right back down 92 91 even 9000 and it's been, I guess you could say, not the funnest month to trade, especially for Bitcoin and crypto as a whole again. But there have been some other coins that have made some movements. But as far as Bitcoin goes, I'm hoping to see, you know, come July, not only do we as a whole see the market get some more attraction get some more movement in the market and then let's see where we're gonna go next month i mean can we get back to that ten thousand mark and not only back to that ten thousand mark but can we get back to the ten thousand mark and then push forward from that or will we see another just regression and see a decline again Cause I mean, if you look at it, man, we go what ten days into June, we're ninety seven, ninety eight, about ninety nine hundred. The highest it got on the tenth was about nine thousand nine hundred thirty, and from that point on to kind of basically, you know, in the month. Uh, we got as low as what nine thousand, and even from about the couple of dates from about the twelfth all the way up to, I would say, the twenty second. That ten day period is crazy. It's almost like it's identical prices, because if you look at the twelfth low of ninety four nine. 9400, 9450, around there, get to the 22nd, and it's like we're at 9416, 9450. So, again, as you can see, it, we've just been bouncing up and down. Of course, you can 
make profits even though we haven't had too much movement it just depends on one how long are you willing to hold and what time frames you're using this bad boy as well because we do know crypto does not sleep but even still if you would have bought in on the 12th when it had dipped from that you know nice little run on the 10th you had bought in 94.50 i would say even if you got in around the 93 range so 9300 on the 11th and you could have sold on the 15th yeah the 15th that's the i think that's the kind of a the highest point yeah at 95 60 around that range so you could did that and then once it got there wash it again because as we got to the 18th got as low as 92 about nine close to about 9 300 and then you could have sold off again on the 22nd at that 96 80 range so again looking at the charts yeah not a lot of movement but if you've been picking your spots uh you or gain some profit might not be a whole lot but again you are gaining some profit but uh even if you look at the 90 days for bitcoin uh, going all the way back to april i mean shoot april we were in seven thousand range uh 60 at yeah, six thousand sixty eight hundred to the low 7500 range i mean if you have bought in around that time and you're still hodling and haven't sold any off or if you did decide to sell off you've been obviously making some nice profits when we got to that 9000 range but as far as that last month goes june hasn't been i would say the best month for bitcoin uh actually the on the month it's down four percent so again we've had a terrible month but july looking for some new some potentially some new highs like can we can we stay in the ten thousand range that would be nice but that's why there are more coins and i gotta tell you some of the coins that i've been personally trading with and still finding ways to get profits and gains I'm gonna start with Digibyte and probably not a well known coin. Uh, I believe it is in the top 100. Uh, I believe it's actually, it should be, it's actually top 50. Uh, but again, there's been movement. The last 30 days is up 20%. Last seven days is almost up 2%. And I've made some solid gains just for the fact that. Again, if you're watching the price of this coin, we'll go to the last 30 days here. And as you can see, price range wise, it's been playing in that, you know, it's a penny stock or actually a penny crypto. It was a penny for a while under a penny and then it gets up to two cents. So it's been going back and forth. If you would have got in, obviously, when it was really low. Um, I believe that was earlier in the month. It had got to what the lowest was a penny, some some change, and it's actually revisited those positions throughout throughout the month. And um, I've been able to sell here every time it gets to about the two cent range, the high two cents, um, and been able to you know make some easy easy gains i mean as, like i said the last 30 days is up 20 percent. so again if you would have just threw in any type of number that you felt comfortable investing into this particular coin this month you would have made a nice solid 20 percent on that money again this is a coin that i like to trade as much as possible um I know it's only available on certain markets and exchanges and depending on 
where you reside, you might not always be able to uh, trade this particular coin. But Digibyte is a coin that, like I said, keep your eye out on if you want to trade. It is a penny, uh, penny type of crypto. So again, it is cheap. So that's one of them. The next one I think that I've liked a lot is, and I'm pretty sure everybody knows about this coin is Stellar. Stellar's been it has good days, it has bad days. Last 30 days to speak on is about down about 8%. And this right now currently price is at what six cents. Uh this was a high eight center. I think it got to nine cents at one point. I have, um looking for that data right now as we speak, but last 30 days again. It was at eight cents to start off the month. Like I said, I think to start off the month, we had a good start off in crypto. I think they kind of got us thinking that we would have a good month, and then we just slowly retracted and went backwards. Um, so right now, this is on sale. Uh, it's six cents, and right now, I would say you probably could hold this for another what two weeks or so, and. You can easily see it go back to seven cents, close to eight, possibly. Um, just looking at the chart of how it's been going for this last month of June here. This is one I would say is more of a mid to long term hold. Uh, you're probably gonna have to hold this one, depending on, like I said, depending on the market uh, for for a bit to see some nice solid gains, even though. Even though it is up about 2.2 percent in the last 24 hours, so uh, like I said, there are gains to be made. Gotta find the right coins to trade. Uh, so Stellar is another one. Another one that I've been going back and forth with is Cardano as well. Cardano last 30 days is up 4 percent. Uh, we go here to the month of June, and if you were lucky enough to buy on the 15th, the actually, yeah, the 15th, the 11th, and what other days? I would say on the second, uh, later, actually, the early morning of the second, kind of, yeah, early morning of the second, you wouldn't have been able to get in at a great entry spot and it actually would have had plenty of opportunities to sell off for some profit um because it's been bouncing up and down from seven uh, seven cents all the way up to eight cents and uh it's been pretty solid um pretty solid movement as far as trade volume goes uh this is one of the coins i mean you gotta remember cardano is you know one of those top 20 coins so there's a lot of volume that's constantly going in and out of this coin uh, as far as uh, the BTC pair even if you're trading with BTC it has had um, some pretty pretty solid gains uh, Cardano another coin that I like to personally trade with and I think is a coin you want to keep on your list another one is ZRX uh zero x um up 4.64 percent last 30 days this bad boy had made me i think this was a 10 percent coin right here man uh throughout this month of june you you've you've had some opportunities to make some solid solid gains uh if you've been trading with zero x and the reason why i say this because Lowest price that you could have got this coin for this for this month was about the 31 cent range. So if you were able to get in around there, because it happened on the second as well as the seventh, um, and then you were able had the opportunity to sell off when it got to its basically its high for the month, which was almost 40 cents. It was at 39 cents, and even right now, uh, it's dropped back to 33 cents, but could easily go back up to 35, 36 cents. That has been the price range that it's kind of been eclipsing. I would say on a cons 
consistent basis. Um, you haven't seen 37 a couple times here and there. Uh, so yeah, this is one that I would again add to list. And even right now, like I said, buying at 33, this could be a mid to long term hold where you can obviously possibly potentially get the chance to sell it back up at its high of 39, 38 cents and make some solid gains on this particular coin as well. So again, zero X is another coin that I just like to keep my eye out on. And of course this next one, I think if I would have obviously bought in way ahead of time before this bad boy has shot up. Wow, wow, wow. If you are a long-term hauler of this coin, Chainlink. Chainlink has been doing exceptionally well in this last month and overall just the year. Um, right now, it's currently about $4.56. If you had the opportunity to buy when this coin was at the $2, $3 range, kudos to you. But again, for the month of June, if you were able to get it at the 390 range, 395, 397 range, um, you're still sitting pretty because this bad boy got all the way up to 46 a lot a lot of people think it was going to hit five dollars this month but again it did get basically close to that and right now it's a little bit on sale i would like it i would like to see personally get back to maybe four dollars and thirty cents or four dollars and twenty cents that range uh to really be able to maximize your profits but even right now like i said the last 30 days you still would be up about 3.50 percent so chain link another coin that i like to trade uh and i was i wouldn't say this is last but man bat bat is a great great crypto to trade with uh, i'm a big fan of their platform in general i use their their browser but man last 30 days you're up 16 percent of your money 16 percent uh and i've seen back go from 19 cents to 25 cents uh as high as i think might have been not this month but the month before as high as maybe 33 cents so again you got a lot of movement going on with this particular coin especially in this month i mean this month the highest i got up to was about 28 close to 29 cents seen r real lows of 21 cents uh, 22 cents so if you were able to enter in, in in those price range areas you you're you know you're sitting pretty right now and again this is i would say a coin that is a good one to do some type of day trading uh, especially in the market that we're kind of in right now it's had a lot of movement because uh, right now it's kind of hard it's kind of slim pickings when it comes to day trading and trying to find coins where you can get some particular movement try you know grind out any profit that you can get especially when it's been kind of just you know just really stale uh so yeah bat is another one and I think that's going to wrap it up as far as the coins go. Personally, for me, which have been kind of successful. Uh, and also, oh, I got throw in there EOS and Tron. They've had their days where, you know, you can catch some, you know, pretty solid gains. But like I said, they've had their days. You, that's a coin you kind of got to really watch, especially Tron, because Tron hasn't really had that great of movement. But. You know, you still can pull out some three, four percent type of gains depending on uh, where you enter it. But yeah, it hasn't been the greatest. But even EOS, EOS is down right now. Uh, EOS is at currently priced at two dollars and thirty four cents, and this bad boy was uh, high of two eighty to ninety around that range on the last thirty days. It is down about 16 percent um so again you just you gotta know when to pick them man you gotta know when to get in or when to get out but you know eos could easily go back up to three dollars uh 
right now it's just you know been the I would say right now this is a good time to buy EOS and then short midterm uh, you could just hold and kind of wait to see if it can get back up to that two ninety three dollar range and then you can obviously sell off there but uh, I believe like I said I think it's gonna wrap it up for all the coins that I've been kind of trading with this last a month and a half or so um, there are still other coins that I would like to personally trade with because again you gotta find those uh, those golden coins that you know are gonna bring you some type of profit in a bear market man um, you know we keep showing signs of being bullish and all that but we we haven't quite peaked yet maybe July could be that month well, that's going to wrap up today's cast. Appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, I am available on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Breaker, CastBox, Overcast, Pocket Cast, and Radio Public. Uh, be on the lookout for new episodes. Going to be dropping some new episodes here. As we get ready to enter July, hoping that uh, we have a better month in the crypto market. Let's get back to that close to that 300 billion dollar market cap right now we're at about 255 258 range and we've been seeing that for a while now going back from that to about 270 280 but i'm trying to stay over 300 billion so we'll we'll continue to watch the market hopefully picks picks back up this next month but uh let's go wrap it up appreciate y'all tuning in and uh, dj duke is going to take us on out peace y'all I'm sick throwing bills. DMX rough rider. I like you when it's real. No service in the hills. I wanna show I'm on anyway. Don't worry about the phone anyway. Ooh, you calling my name? You want a man that shine? I like jewelry. I want a woman that's mine. Let me hit it anytime. Like you my enemy. Going baseline. Somewhere in the hills, no service in the hills. Six one with hills on, three inch hills. Let me take it to the hills. Somewhere in the hills, no service in the hills. Yeah, I'm still pushing the envelope. I got Vinci's coat, back on road. I did it to a liquid in the styrofoam. Let's just clarify, I'm a tourist, not a Gemini I got double O, like mellow The golden eye, I wish I had my old phone So I can go through messages, voicemails, I don't have any Picture me in a brand new Bentley I'm in the dark hole, Oh, to tomorrow Tomorrow No service in the hill Stuck in the hill Yeah Feels like you want a pair. Six one with three inch heels on. Let me take a mile, you. I'm in love with your body. I'm in love with your soul. Too. I hit rock bottom. You in the hole too? Tiger Woods with the voicemail. Hot sheets with the backwood. Yeah, my bitch. Hey, Ryder. My bitch. Hey, Ryder. My box shit, yeah, 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 shit. Take you higher, somewhere in the hills. Be your supplier. I'm sick throwing bills. DMX rough rider. I like you when it's real. No service in the hills. I want you on my own anyway. Don't worry about the phone anyway. Ooh, you calling my name? Yeah. Like jewelry, no service in the head. Uh, uh, and I just made this purchase to say no 